Earlier in this newscast, we told you about a warning from the FDA about breast implants. Doctors have found new cancers growing in the tissues around the implants. Deanna, this is happening in a tiny minority of women. Oh, that's right, Brett, tiny. The FDI, FDA cited about 50 cases. And now consider that there are millions of American women with breast implants. So the numbers are tiny. But for women like me who have already had cancer, the thought of having something in your body that could be leading to the development of another cancer is troubling. Should I remove my implants? That's a question I take inside the examining room with Dr. Anna Weiss, the new head of breast care at Pluta. And I need to let you know, we want women contemplating the choice of implant removal to know what your chest might look like. So we're going to show you. You ready? Each survivor must consider the specifics of your experience and your health history. So I'm going to start by just opening the gown a little bit. Okay. Um, Dr. Y starts by examining my lymph nodes, an important part of any breast examination, because that's where breast cancer usually spreads first. Then she examines the capsule around my implants. So if something were to be wrong with mm -hmm. the, uh, the tissue around the implant, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you should look for? Yeah, so um, small nodules, mm -hmm. I would say point tenderness, kind of that new pain I was talking about, right. new swellings, and then I would say a dimpling in one area that's okay. new and different than the other. And that immediately sets off internal alarm bells because I have dimpling. So I ask her to examine one of my implants, and fortunately, it's likely nothing to worry about. The layer of fat around the implant is just thinner in that area. So it's very common on kind of the extreme edges or borders or bottom of the implants that you can feel them more. Still, I have reason for concern. My adult life has been marked by four different cancer battles. I'm considering removing the implants, but what will I look like? Let me ask you this, with all yeah. the previous surgeries, uh -huh. if I were to have the implants taken out, how much scarring on my chest would there be? That's a good question. Typically, they can use your old scars. It's called aesthetic flat closure. I would join a large community of breast cancer survivors who are unapologetically flat by choice. So? I ask about the outpatient yeah. surgery to remove the implants. How long does it usually take? Uh, two hours. Yeah. Wow, that's it? Yeah, yeah. And then you go home? Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling to make sure. And I'm for every okay. survivor, the decision you make has to ultimately be the right decision for you. A decision guided not by fear, but by research and information. That's right, it's your choice, your body. The pictures you saw of women who had aesthetic flat closure were from a website called Not Putting on a Shirt. The website has a wealth of information about aesthetic flat closure and what you can expect. They gave me permission to use those pictures. I have a link on our website, as well as a link to the Breast Cancer Coalition of Rochester. No woman facing breast cancer should do so without reaching out to the coalition, which can give you all kinds of local resources. But not every woman is comfortable with going flat for a number of reasons, including body type or the shape of your chest wall. Tomorrow, I'm taking you inside a Rochester Jewel, where the owner, a breast cancer survivor herself, can show you a myriad of prosthetic options available. That's tomorrow at 5.